years, instead of going back into the past of motorsport, we're going to talk a little bit about the future of motorsport, and more specifically, the future of the internal combustion engine. Now, ever since the internal combustion engine was first released, it's been re-engineered, re redesigned, rethought of, and there's one thing that's been left by the wayside, and that's the fuel we use. So today, we're going to talk a little bit about sustainable fuels. Now, grab yourself a brew and enjoy. So in the race to go green, there's been a few different avenues that have been explored. A lot of people have jumped over to electric, there's been talk of hydrogen cell cars, and a few people have dabbled with sustainable fuels. Now what I've got in front of me is P1 Fuels, which is the only 100% sustainable fuel on the market with an EN228 certification. Now, for those of you who don't know what that means, is that's the specification that a fuel has to meet to be sold on the market. So it's the same qualification that pump fuel has from fossil fuel. Um, but there's still skeptics, and I understand that. now. There's a lot of benefits to using sustainable fuel, um, especially in classic cars, because there's a 0% ethanol content. Now, for those of you who've, who've owned classic cars and have worked on classic cars, you know how detrimental E5 and E10 fuels are to the fuel system of a classic car. Um, it throws up the aluminium, it ruins the floats, the needle valves, and, and the, the rubber hoses themselves. Um, well, you don't get any of that with P1 fuel. So unlike E5 and E10 petrols, sustainable fuels such as P1 doesn't actually have a shelf life. So you can come to your Pride and Joy come, come springtime and it will still fire up. Now there still will be people that are worried about putting in their Pride and Joy and uh, this fuel has been proven. So it's the mandated fuel for the WRC, uh, the World Rally Championships, and it has been for the last few years now. Um, Good, Gumball 3000 have, have used the fuel, Mill Amelia have used the fuel, and this year Good Revival will be solely on sustainable fuels. So, what's it made from? Well, P1 fuel is made from a mix of advanced biofuels and e-fuels. The precise composition involves sustainable and renewable feedstocks. This is a second generation biomass, which means P1 are not growing plants to create their own fuel, but instead using waste from food production. P1 is not competing with the food industry in any way, making it a very clean and environmentally friendly alternative to traditional fossil fuel. One of the major benefits of using a synthetic fuel is that the engineers can change the combustion characteristics to give you a better burn. And that's exactly what the team at P1 have done, giving you a fuel that's as close as possible to stoichiometric air to fuel ratio. Um, now, there's massive benefits to, to, to having a fuel that gives you a better and more, more complete burn. And the good thing is with a man-made uh, petrol alternative is that every single batch will be exactly the same. So there are currently two different types of P1 that you can buy in the UK. There's one which is the equivalent to a 95 octane pump fuel, and there is one which is a 102 octane racing fuel. Now, currently you can only buy them in barrels because the infrastructure isn't set up for, for pumps yet. Um, you can buy them in a 54 litre barrel and you can buy them in a 208 litre barrel. Uh, now, if you do want to get your hands on some P1, um, you can go to their website, which I'll leave a link for in the description, or get in touch with us through the Racing Years Instagram page, and uh, I can try and help you out as much as possible. Um, Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching and tune in next time at the Racing Years.